Ladies and lads, welcome back to EVO 2022 live from Las Vegas. We are in top 48 and we are whittling it all the way down to top eight today. My name is Spag, joined by the Irish legend Sam Ding. What's up, bro? Let's go, dude. I am so pumped right now. Look at all of us. Look Ooh. at us EU boys. Woo! We showed up. We got on a plane. We're here. Las Vegas, Nevada. The real one, man. <laughs> we are here. Top 48. Let's talk about tech and Spag. Mm. Look at those faces on the player cams right now. You spoke about it. You just said EU. And we have an EU represented right now. It's winner side top 48. It's Nobi from Japan Welcome going up against Super Akuma from France who just took out JDCR earlier on today in a nail biter. Went to the last pixel. And that is why he's here right now, going up against the legend from Japan, Sam. Absolutely. I mean, Nobi is a full-time Tekken person. There aren't very many people Second on the planet that can say full-time Tekken. Look at this man right here, man. He is so ready to do it. When he's not competing, he actually teaches Tekken in the Bandai Namco Museum in Japan. So this man lives, breathes, sleeps and eats. Tekken 7. If you, so. if you think about a player from Japan, you're like, tell me about a guy from Japan who represents Japanese Tekken. It is that man right now on screen. Yes. Sir. However, he's going up against Super Akuma, and it looks like, it looks like Nobi's already locked and loaded him with Dragonov. Now, that is the character that he's known for, the character he's won championships with, right? But, you know, he was playing Feng earlier, so I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen. Okay. It is Dragonov, wow. Yeah. So this is going to be really, really interesting. He obviously thinks something about the matchup here. And I mean, look, I'm, I'm trusting Nobi here. Like, to, I'm going to go home and practice the Dragonov versus Akuma match, no matter how, how this match goes. Not many people know, but when Arslan, before EVO Japan, when he made a name for himself, he actually went to a tournament in Asia and he just missed out on top eight because he lost to Nobi's Dragonov. No right? way. And so not many people know that was a tournament that not many people watched, but this is the caliber of playing we're talking about, especially with the main man right there, Dragonov. But it's Super Akuma from France. Ale, ale, with the Akuma. <laughs> Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Evo Tekken. Let's get it, man. With a duo on the studio. You've got to be careful as well. Using the down two is a very, very important low for Dragon Ball, but with Mika, Akuma can punish it very hard. Yes, absolutely. You've got to be very, very careful. Akuma has access to a lot more kind of damaging punishes mm -hmm. uh, the closer he gets to that bar sitting there. Jump up and look at this. Nobody answering back with a jump back. Really interesting style yeah. there. Giving Super Akuma a taste of his own medicine. Like, you can jump while I can jump too. <laughs> All right. He got this. He's oh, watch the rage. Not dead, not dead. Jump, flippy floppies. Oh. oh, oh, there's the bar, there's the bar. No way, here we go. Here we go, first round on the board for Nobi. Yeah, that's great keep out there. Super Kuma kind of backed off after the low and then Nobi had the perfect range to just use down forward for keep Akuma out. Yes, sir. Man, these whiff punishments coming out of both players today looking incredible right now. Look at this. Oh, oh my yes. God, you just said it, Sam. That's it, man. I'm telling you, these boys spacing. This is a game about spacing, but an uncharacteristic Woo! drop. But oh, it's okay. It's an Akuma. It is the best Akuma on the face of the planet right now. That is super Akuma from EU. All right, you're doing well here. Both guys looking very sharp. The whiff punishes, as you said, Sam, looking very, very nice. But you've got to be careful not to overextend. There we go. Okay, yeah. Watch the breakables here now. Yeah, yeah. We downstairs. What's for Oki? Not a lot. Okay, good break. Needed that. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good lateral movement. Woo, okay. Yeah, doesn't complete the back one into the full launch, but gets a little hit. It's all good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, look at that meter burning in the bottom right of the screen here. This could get dangerous very quickly. No confirm of the 1-1. One, one. Super Akuma, that could have been it. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, that was all he needed. What clever play here as well, because he's coming into this with a meter. Yeah. That could spell the death for a game one here with Nobi. This is good for Nobi, though, man. He gets the wall carry, gets the wall for that. Nice duck for Super Akuma. You don't want to have your back to the wall if you're dragging off right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. What an absolute machine of a player. Oh. Super Akuma with the alterations into the re-splat. Yes. Damn, this guy's good. Should go to the wall. What's going to be the Oki here? Oh, he's tech roll. Nah, dude. Oh, oh, damn, man. 
All right. You can't. I mean, what do you do? What do you do in that situation? Because if you tech, you're down. If you stay down, you're going to eat some more damage. Plus, yeah. some of that madness OTG stuff that we can see Super Akuma himself pulling off. Yeah, it's, it's hard, man, because, you know, there's three. it's a three-way mix-up almost, man. You can stay on the floor, mm -hmm. you can tech roll, or you can delay your tech roll. There's, yeah. there's different ways, and Akuma knows all the different options, right? So it's going to be uh, a bit of a hard mind game there. But Nobi, he's been in this position before, Sam. He's been, you know, his, his back's been to the wall. He lost the first match, and yep. he has brought it back time and time again. We're going to the infinite stage. But Super Akuma, he doesn't mind the infinite stage, right? No. He doesn't really mind it. However, we've seen already, Nobi's backdashing has been very good. He has declined Super Akuma, clean hit down three, quite a few times that last match. Yep. Let's see if the infinite stage works out for him. Here we go, guys. Match Round number two. One. Okay, here we go. Fight. Yeah, definitely be watching that movement there from the Dragon Up. But what? Super Akuma's gonna wait for him to come in here. Big counter hit, gonna take as much damage as he can without the wall. Okay, down two. Hey. Yes. All right, that's the classic JDCR. <laughs> Side step left, down forward two. Yeah, if you try to challenge the down two, it is neutral on hit. He that's jumped what... out of that? Get out of here! Look at this comeback though. Okay. Frame two, last frame. Oh! Ooh, we're over the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see what Nobi's got. Yeah, Akuma being a little bit too happy with the buttons. And Nobi taking full advantage round on the board. Nice float there on the flip. Yeah, you can best believe that this man knows how to deal with that Akuma jumping. Oh, yeah. nice. Keep him close. Okay. Oh. Look at the spacing from Nobi though, he just wanted to be in close range. The punish. Yeah, dude. Said uh, Nobi kinda woke up there. First game, he's taking that as a knowledge round. Yep. I'm liking the lateral movement as well. We see some down force from Super Akuma. Okay. Oh, big counter hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what he's got. He is on rage as well, but he has got an uphill battle in front of him. He's gonna take this round. The backdash from Nobi, the movement is causing Akuma some problems here. Okay. He does have a meter to work with, though. Look at the Ooh, movement! Man. Look at the movement from Nobi right now. The defense, 10 seconds left. Time is becoming a factor now. Oh, no. I don't think he has enough time, Sam. Nah. Five seconds left. Yeah, stay down. He's just going to stay Good on the floor. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough. That was very clever from Nobi to stay on the floor. Round he did not have the moves in to, to get the win there. So two rounds up now. Ooh. Bad punish. Good yeah. launch. Um, but we do have two meters here. You can see Super Akuma fishing with a 1-1 one, one here. This could be massive damage. What a whip on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gets what he gets. Yep. Down two. Oh. Man, you've got to be so careful in front of both of these players. If you whip anything at all, there's massive damage there on the table. Oh. Yep. No, we just constantly backdashing, sidestepping left. He's the weak side of Akuma. Yep. He doesn't want to get hit by anything big. Oh, okay. Had right. to burn the meter to convert here, but uh, I mean, he's definitely in the lead now. Yep. Oh, okay. The back action again. Oh, God, it's so clean. Oh, nice. okay. okay. Akuma, Akuma stays alive here in the second game. Yep. Like you said, Sam, you have to use that bar meter. Nobody's not making it easy for him no. to burn that meter. But here oh, we go. here we go. This is it. Yo, get ready, Reddit. Here it is, bro. <laughs> Big damage there. 1-1 one, one confirmed. Okay. Nah, he's down two. The swipe. Dude, he's so slippery. It, it looks like Super Akuma is just chasing this entire game. Oh! Alright. 1-1 one, one confirmed again. Backdash there from Nobi to make the down three not clean hit. Ooh! Wow, grabbed him out of the homing move. Oh! The punish! Oh, it's behind! Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Spag. It is set point now for Super Akuma to put Nobi into losers and move on. That's Nobi, dude. <laughs> Nobi son. Dang. All right. Still good patience here from Nobi, though. He knows he doesn't want to overextend. Akuma with the meter. Woo. Okay. Oh, okay. The side steps. Like you said, Sam, the side step left. That's it. That's it, man. Oh, he's fishing with that one one. He wants to burn that bar. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. Oh, look at the space. Look at the defense. <laughs> okay, that's two bars now. And we know what Akuma can do with two bars. Oh, oh! big counter. A big counter. Hit. He's on rage. Oh God. What's he gonna do? The stars ah! of the light. Oh God, that wasn't the hit. That, that wasn't the hit. That could have been it. Akuma. Oh. He has so much damage, but the defense from Nobi, the movement, the keep out. 15 seconds left on the clock. Super Akuma is definitely going to have to be watching that right now. 
10 seconds, gotta do something big yes. now! Yes, Nobi-san! Yep. Beautiful timing, beautiful spacing, the back dashing, the, the sidestepping, everything was on point in that last round. Akuma couldn't get in, Sam. Yeah, I mean, it, it, as I said, like it's just that slippery playstyle, but it's perfect against Akuma. Yeah. He wants to keep moving away. He wants to keep sidestepping left, back dashing, just getting out of there, getting out of the clean down range like and stuff. Um, and Akuma is just going to have to chase him down. That's the only way, but look. Mm. So because... Super Akuma won the first game. That tactical win right there gives him the stage pick here going into the final game now. Absolutely. This is going to be hugely important. Absolutely. The walls are in play now. And not only that, we have three breakable walls. We have a balcony break as well. There's a potential for huge damage. But the most important thing is that Nobi can't run away too much now. Well, the walls are going to be back there. So let's go. Final match, ladies and lads. Oh, wow. Bad start for any of the EU fans watching here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put Super Kuma in the corner. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Town hit back two that should go to the wall. Ooh, he just chased him down. He wanted the Oki against the wall. I, I, I kind of respect the Oh, nice punish. Nice punish. Okay. No duck on the string. Charge it this time. 1-1. One, one. If Super Akuma wins round one here, oh, this is big right now because he worked on a full bar right there and won round one. You know, it's what he did that time though. Nobody went for down two. He tried to sidestep left again, but this time Super Akuma finished the string whilst on his ball for the second one counter hit. So there's deep mind games happening right now. Yes, sir. And look at this. Oh, did not get the full conversion here. Mm -hmm. But look at that meter, bottom right here, screen. Keep an eye on that. Big counter hit. Yeah. That's going to send him to the wall. Look at these homing moves being used by Super Akuma. He does not want nobody to sidestep anymore, but he's in the corner now. Ooh. Okay. Switch your sides. Yeah. This, this is good from Nobi. That's Nobi's, like, his movement is absolutely insane. Look at that. He was backed against the wall, and now look, he's pushing Super Akuma back to the corner, but his back is to the breakable, and Akuma has two meters to work with. Oh! No! What? <laughs> Damn it, man. He likes to get high. The down four, ladies and lads, Super Akuma on set point once again. Two rounds off in the final game. Uh, I'm I'm shivering right now, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, good slow. Now Side we step jab, very good. Yeah, we do have the breakables as well. Try to get them all the way back. Mm -hmm. Running twos. This is great by Nobi, he's upping the aggression a little bit. Has a massive life lead. Oh, he could have pulled the trigger there. It wasn't being hit though, Sam. Mm -hmm. Look at the okay. spacing, guys. Look at the spacing. Yeah. Akuma needs to get in here. Yes. Life deficit here. Oh, my oh God, no legs. way. One more. The leg. Two meters. Two meters in a final round situation. Nobody has to be so careful right now. Super Kuma has everything. Oh. This is his game big to whip, lose. Big whip. Big whip. This here is we his go. game to lose. Danger mode. Oh, just burning meters for the sake of oh, it. Oh, the XDC. And now from Nobi goes oh. into the loser bracket. Super Akuma with the win. Look at this man. Man's about to break through a stage right now. <laughs> Super Akuma popping off, dude. Wow, that was so, so cool. There was deep mind games happening there, but as you can see, the stage matches so much in second seven, Sam. Yeah. I mean, you know, the infinite stage, Nobi had all the space to move around, but then Super Akuma using the walls now, you know, it was not possible. And then winning with the DP the same way he did versus Gen yeah. at CEO <laughs> earlier this year. So yeah, man, what a way, what a way to start the top 48, Sam. Put two EU guys on the desk. Give us one EU guy on the stage, man. It's a recipe for success. <laughs> we got this, man. We got this, but wait a minute. Yo, you seeing those names in the bottom of the I'm corner? I'm seeing the names. Oh, damn. I'll give you the honor to tell the stream right now, the lovely stream chat. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have, out of Pakistan, Khan. Yes. And of course, his opponent today is going to be your boy, Gen. Gen. Gen this is... versus Khan, Japan versus Pakistan. This is going to be so, so good. The number one, so Gen, if you guys are not familiar, you know, his first appearance where he made a big name for himself actually was 2014 in Vegas for EVO. He was really? second, second tag two, made it to grand finals when he was 14 years old. 
14 Stop. years Stop. old, ladies and lads. Stop. He got to grand finals against JDCR. He lost the grand finals, but you know, JDCR was like unbeatable back then, you know. Sure. But again, he beat everyone to get there as a kid. And now, you know, he's still very young. Here he is, 2022, in the future now, going up against a Pakistani legend in Imran Khan right there. Uh, probably going to be playing the geese. So I'm not sure. Gen has multiple characters. You know, the Shaheen. Yeah. We saw Lydia. He's got multiple characters, right? But uh, Khan, I'm pretty much just, uh, just using the geese. Yeah. Uh, so we saw him earlier on. I was uh, I was commenting uh, some of his pools. Yeah. Um, He's looking absolutely slick today. That geese came out of the gate swinging. He wanted that win so bad. But for anyone that doesn't know about Khan, he's a training partner of Arslan. Yes. Those guys, and like, they play together a lot as well. Like, I I might be wrong on this, but isn't Khan JD, or JDCR, Arslan Ash's personal trainer as well? Yeah, that I mean, he yeah, brings him buff, to the man. gym, yeah, man. Yeah, course, I'm telling you, you know, man. Arslan got buff all of a sudden, and it was this man right yeah, here. Yeah, man, he got that. Yeah, yeah but you know, this guy's been playing the second for a long time. He's one of the best in Pakistan for sure. Representing Fate Eagles out of Jordan. Shout out to them. But yeah, like, um, he's, he still is yet to have that big breakout performance. He had a good performance at CEO where he got top four, I believe. But, you know, getting a good top eight here would mean everything to him. Especially because tournament nerves have affected him in, in the past. This is someone that in tournament has beaten people like Double. Like, yeah. we saw him huge in way before. He beat Ulsan yeah. back in 2019. He has results versus strong, strong players. But this is the stage. If you want to make a name for yourself, Sam, this is the stage. This is absolutely it. I mean, there are storied moments. Like, history has been made in the FGC from this stage, this very stage right here. Fuck it, so. on, though, man. People are asking questions like, you know, who is the strongest region in the world? Is it Japan? Is it Korea? Is it Pakistan? It's between those three, let's be honest, right? Sure. And this time, we're finally seeing a Pakistani other than Arslan Ash here, you know, competing. Yeah. And it's looking really difficult Peace for these guys. Power. Because of visas, Bilal sh should have been here. Oh, Always Hani should have yep. been here. But visa issues continue to haunt the Pakistanis. Luckily, though, for Khan, he had a, he has a five-year visa to, to USA. So we'll be seeing him hopefully quite often here nice. in the United States. But man, this is going to be a good match. It looks like Gen is going to be locking in with the Shaheen. Sure. Okay. And you know what? This is actually a character that Khan used to play. No way. So mm. he's got that matchup knowledge. Okay. Should do. Yes. Japan versus yeah, Pakistan. Really Ladies really and really lads, watching at home. Top 48 action. Here we go. It's just match after match. Just so, so sick. Every match, Sam. Every, there, there, there aren't bad matches mm. here on this stream right no, now, no. man. Uh, I mean, I did the block two hours, man. I, I wanted to sit here for another three, man. <laughs> like, you know, this is uh, one of... I mean, it is. It is. It's the premier fighting game tournament in the Let world right now. And we're about to see why. Match. Ladies and gentlemen, as Bragg mm. said, Gen versus Khan. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Now, I'm sure Gen has a lot of experience against the Geese as well. You know, they have one of the best East in the world. Chikorin, the Tekken World Tour champion of 2019. Yes, you know, so there's going to be match on those both sides. It's all about who plays better on the day. That's exactly it. I mean, what side of the bed did you wake up on? Yeah. Did you wake up on the side that's going to punish a hop kick or wall bounce? Woo! Straight downstairs. Very early break. Gonna get him all the way to the other wall. Yes, sir. Yeah. Big damage, and that's without the meter as well here. Let's see what he finishes with down forward one. Okay, seven golden letters there. Again, wow. try to go for a little twitch duck to get the low parry, but Khan went all mid. All mid. You gotta run that guess. Mm -hmm. So um, this is what we're seeing a lot from the Asian players this weekend is they will drop the first round, the first game even sometimes, yeah. just to get that knowledge, see what you're going to do and stuff. Wow! Wow! That was a quick low parry. Yeah, Ken is always looking out for those lows, you know. Uh, you sidestep duck, you know, little twitch ducks in here and there. Low parry so strong in this game, but look at that, down back 2-1. This could be dead, actually. Nah, is it? With the OG, yeah. Oh. With the OG, yes, absolutely. One round apiece. Round. Yes, sir. Here we go. I feel like Fight. this is going to be a slobber knocker. It's going to be very close right away to the end. Yeah. But okay. remember, Geese, check the bottom right of that screen. His meter is building up slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, he definitely has access to that max mode. Uh, something to check and borrow from King of Fighters. And there it is. Yeah. All of these extra moves that he's pulling out right here. A lot of damage on the board. Even on the light bar, though, Gen is holding up his defense very strong. Whoa! Damn! He got the double jab and still managed to get the duck into the launcher, and that is going to be the second round for Khan. Damn, trying to pick him up as well. Yeah. He's like, get up, man. Let's get ready for the fourth round. I ain't done with you yet, sir. He said, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, hey, hey. Big sidestep. 
Interesting combo. Wow. No way. Why are you joking? Oh. Okay, back to Good sidestep. Yeah, pull him off the wall. We could break the other wall here. I think you might. Yes, yeah. Nice. Nice. Damn, Damn, man. The crate for both sides. Dude. This is uh, an exhibition match, it feels. Mm -hmm. All right, but Khan already sitting on another uh, chunk of butter here. Yeah, didn't commit to the back too. The second hit actually worked. That could have been dead. This time he goes for it. Okay, we're in max mode. Okay, burns it out. The duck! Woo! Okay, that might be dead with a combo. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's just such a risky attempt there from Yen to just kind of expect him not to duck when Khan had ducked that string before yeah. and punished it. Definitely, you know, that just taking a sip of water there, trying to stay calm. You can tell, again, he's so experienced in the tournament, even though he's so young, <laughs> he is stone-faced. He's been in this position so many times now. And yeah. I think he's sticking with Shaheen, right? Uh, so he went straight to the stage there, yeah, okay. fighting systems. Yeah, so we got a, a wider stage here, but uh, I love this. This it's kind of dedication to the Shaheen, man. I mean, that was the character that kind of, I think, when Gen made the breakout in Tekken 7, that's what everyone remembered him for. Right, right, right. Um, obviously, as you were saying, that there's maybe a couple of other characters uh, mm. in the pocket and stuff, but uh, we're here, we're in tournament, man. You've got to put your best foot forward. That's we it. aren't even in top yeah, 32 yet, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Yeah, this is the thing, you mentioned it, right? In 2019, he was running the Shaheen, and that was his main character. Sometimes just going back to your main character works for you. Rather than going for the top tiers like Lady in the background and stuff. So here we go. Stick it with the Sheen. I love the choice. Let's get it. Second game. Okay. Yeah. Already a kind of a slower pace here now. Oh, wait, though. Yep. We're pulling the trigger on some moves. Slidu. We didn't see that at all in game one. Absolutely. Yeah. We're getting some changes here again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Khan just sitting in his face. He is so not afraid of the Shaheen. Yeah. Okay. Slidu. Leaves Shaheen in rage. This is a great position for Ken, though. Mm -hmm. No meter from Khan. Ooh. Okay, 1-1-2 one, one, is good punish. Watch the rage. Access to extra damage here. Mm -hmm. Just about to hit that one bar of meter. Oh, the jab pressure, down three. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Ooh. The trade! Dude, what a way to end again. Just knowing that he was about to push a button, went and challenged him. Yeah, get punished there. Whoa! <laughs> what a whiff on his hand. Man, he woke up, man. He got that extra shot of coffee in his latte this morning, man. Oh! This yeah. Ooh, oh, boy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. He's taking him oh. around the stage. <laughs> He's taking him around the stage. Yeah, we nearly got all the way down to the com box in the background right there. Man, with an impressive performance taking round two here. Very, very nice. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. God, the move is absolutely crazy at this level of second. Yeah, you know, the latch move is where it's at, you know, both guys are sidestepping beautifully. Yeah. Khan just trying to build that one bar of meter so we can get... There we go. Yeah. Some extra damage. You see it immediately after he got the bar, he, he pulled the back three out. Yeah. He's just fishing with it for a minute, like... Again, looking for the counter hit now. I don't know if that's the strat where you're going to take uh, Khan out of it. He's been very uh, precise with his uh, button pushes here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh. he was ready to punish the down force. But he's oh! out of range. Talking about ready again with the hop kick, and that is going to be the round. Yeah. Yes, sir. Man, he's got those young boy reactions. I mean, what age is he now? He's, he's definitely got to be, I don't know, what is he? A, 14 years old, 15 <laughs> maybe, I don't know, man. You got that, man. Oh, damn, burn two of them. Yep. Doesn't have the bar to convert into a combo there. Yeah, no tailspin there, but it's okay. Big damage, Ooh. incoming. Yes, sir, put him off the wall. Let's see what we got. No wall splat. Oh, he tried the wall standing too. I could see it, I could see it. Again, like a cornered animal is just gonna lash out right there. Big wall standing too, but Cam was ready for 2-2 two, two here on the round go. That went over, oh my god, low parry. <laughs> All right, so set point now for Khan. He's got a combo with a low parry, gets the wall splat. Trying to go for a tech trap. Again, staying patient. Okay. Oh my, look at this movement. Mm. No meter okay. yet. There it is. Okay. Dangerous. Khan, you can finish this now. Ooh. <laughs> Slag. Slag. The mix up. Spit to these. Okay. Rage available. There's the rage. Oh. No! Nice! Oh my god, you could kill with the right combo here. Sam. That's, That's the wall. Rager. Oh. That's it. dead. Oh, is that going to be dead or has he got a pixel left? Okay. Oh. oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. All right, everyone, calm down. That's Ooh. our board one. 
Yeah, add that to the favorites, yeah, man. Keep it on the favorites, man. Send it to me. That was an insane match. That was, you know, Khan was in a great position there. He had the life lead. He had a bar and meter as well. So he had everything going for him. That was his match to lose and he lost it, right? So now momentum is on Jen's side. Khan looking a little bit more stressed. But he has the stage selector and he's going for the Dragon's Nest time. Okay, interesting. Do you think it's got something to do with that weird wall combo that we saw earlier on? Like, you know, Maybe, hitting no. him off the three different walls or something like Khan just readying himself, keeping that kind of focus. Yeah. You know, self-comfort, man, you know, you got to relax the brain a little bit. Sometimes that stage, the lights, the people, everything <laughs> gets to you, man, you know? It can, it can indeed, man. But, you know, this is where to prove that you can battle through those demons and, and get yeah, the dub. He had it, it was very close, but here we go. Final game, Japan versus Pakistan, Han versus Gen. Okay. It all comes down to this, top 48 winners action. One. And Fight. they are off, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, needed that break. Wanted it. Okay. He's trying to hop this deck off floated. That's going to go to the wall. Oh. 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 All right. My commentator's curse is quite potent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <he's> be careful. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> you warmed it up. Oh, oh damn. damn. Oh. What's happening? I'm not sure. Both guys dropping a lot of nerves in it. Yeah. Maybe that's it, man. Okay. We're seeing, uh, you know, the forward dashes is what we, uh, what they're kind of missing here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, he's not afraid to do it, man. Okay, pulls them off the wall. Yeah, that's gonna go to the Big next wall. Okay. Oh, Ooh, underneath. No Ooh. dark, no dark. Oh, jab. Oh, jab. Okay. Okay. Wow. That was very scrappy. Yeah, definitely yeah. got a little bit more sloppy here uh, in this uh, game three, but. Just wait for it, and um, we will see. We're still one apiece here. Han is up around, but Gen can definitely take one back. Yeah, he's just poking. This is the name of the game when it comes to Shaheen. Nothing too crazy, no gimmicks, just poking. Yeah. Pure attacking. Oh, but what a whip punish. Khan was just ready for him to whip. Definitely um, a training partner of our Slanash. Yeah. Um, you can see it there in that whip punishment right there. Good break, backs to the wall here. Mm -hmm. do again, like steals the life lead up again. No meter here from Khan. Okay. Gen has an opportunity. Goes for the swipe. Counter hit. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So one round of peace here now. Khan is going to be have to. Uh, he has to really focus now on what's going on with the meter. But Gen isn't going to give him a chance to come back into this match here. Okay. Yep. The downfall to keep out. Good break of the one pursuit. That would have switched sides. Vital okay. break. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is gonna hurt Sam. Is he gonna reach the wall? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Coast to coast? Oh my coast god! Coast to coast! Damn, man! Oh, this is... Is, is he dead? That's dead. He's dead. Are you sure? Oh my god, he's dead! Stop! 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 Set what? point. Set point for Khan once again. Here we go. Okay. I wanna see a final final. Don't you wanna see you have to, of course. Okay, oh, could have converted off the magic four, but had the second four pushed yeah. in there. Okay. Khan is breathing heavily now. He can taste the victory. He's got a barometer, but he's sitting on half health. But oh, lets it rip, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Opportunity, God. opportunity now. Goes for the wall bounce. Plus on block. Gang gets out of there. Sidestepping away from the wall. Puts Khan back to the wall now. Here we go. Look at this. Okay. Rage of Venom. Oh, oh my God. What was that? That was huge. That was absolutely huge. But gets a kind of a weird wall block. Oh Big God. low parry. Gonna take it all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Khan takes it over again. He's out of his seat. Woo. Wow. The fist bumps have been done. And Khan. A massive, massive sigh of relief there from him. Again, again, not happy with that, but still, man, what a set between two of the best of their respective countries, Pakistan and Japan. Man, that was insane. That was absolutely crazy. And we can see it here on the replay. There was just so much back and forth in that whole match. I mean, Gen was ready for the stuff that Khan was doing, but it felt like Khan just edged it out right at the end, just kind of took that little bit of a lead everywhere he could. And we can see it here. And yeah. just kind of pushing through here. So many final round situations. This situation well. here was where Khan kind of dropped it, right? He had the, uh, the the life lead, he had the meter lead as well. And Gen just so clutch. Look at that low parry there. And then that, you know, got the uh, got the wall splat, the rage jar, didn't kill. Yeah. So he still had work to do. And he's managed to get it done, Sam. 
Yeah, that, that's the that's the, the desperate situation for anybody playing ranks. You want that Rage Art to kill <laughs> so much. That was the coast-to-coast -coast combo right there. It was, yeah. Huge stuff there from Khan. <laughs> yeah, he knows combos, man. He's a character specialist. This is someone that even in Season 3, when they quote-unquote nerfed Geese, he was the only one saying, look, Geese is still very strong. I'm playing him. And he was right. Geese is very strong. Look at that, though. Again, not the best combo. Could have no. got a better combo there. And then a low parry oh. clutch from Khan. Into the win. How do you even think that clearly in that situation to get a low parry there? That was that was just absolutely insane. It wow. was. I'm so impressed. I was talking to Harada off, off, off stream and you know the question was that he was really excited about is now we finally get to see all the different regions, you know, at Evo, the big stage together, right? There's been multiple tournaments, Comma Breaker CEO, and you know, some tournaments in Europe as well, but we haven't seen every region represented in the way that they have right here at EVO 2022. Yeah. Because the Koreans haven't been traveling. That's the thing, Sam. The, the Koreans haven't been traveling, so they're finally here now. And the question is, who's going to come out on top? Who is going to come out on top and make the top eight? Ladies and we will find out. But first, we're going to have a quick, quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right Oh my god, this is about to be a barn burner, ladies and gentlemen. We had some sick games right before the break, and we were looking at that Arslan Ash oh versus yeah. Neem match oh there. Yeah. Spag, <laughs> have you seen the match we've got coming up right now? I've seen it, and I'm going to tell you guys what I've just seen. Shadow 20Z going up against Arslan Ash. How many times have these guys played <laughs> against each other now? It seems like every tournament, these are two of the best players in the world. They're, they're always going to come across each other because they always make it so far into the bracket. But yeah, like you said, the defending EVO champion from 2019, the double EVO champion, yep. winning EVO in Japan uh, Japan 2020, uh, sorry, in 2019, and then EVO Vegas 2019. Yep. So, you know, this is, this is looking a bit mad. Has anyone won EVO Vegas uh, twice in a row? I wonder. I wonder. And maybe mm. someone else can, someone at home can tell us. But yeah, Shadow versus Arslan. This guy's the first played, I believe, at uh, Tekken World Tour Finals 2019, and that is when Arslan actually lost. It was the Claudio versus the... Uh, actually, I don't remember. It might have been the Kazumi. Was uh, it the Kazumi? Yeah. We were just talking about that. Like, uh, yeah. How long ago was it since uh, Arslan was playing the uh, the Kazumi? Yeah, so. yeah. It might have been the Kazumi. And then um, that was a 2-0. That was 2-0 for Shadow. After that, I believe that Arslan's pretty much just won against Shadow. He's won uh, the next three or four times they've played. So the question is, who is Shadow going to go for? Is it the Claudio? Is it the Safina? The Safina mirror didn't work out for him last time. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the Claudio has been doing better, but not enough. And I know that, that Shadow plays other characters. He has a Kazuya. He has an Anna. He's got a Kazuya? He does, yeah. He's Damn. actually used Kazuya in some online tournaments when he's actually won the tournament. Wow. So, like, you know, he has multiple characters because he's so fundamentally strong, right? This is, for me, a, a top three player in America. He's definitely in my top three, right? Yeah. So, and out of the Americans that are in top 48 winners, it's actually Joey, Anakin, and Shadow, which are actually my top three, <laughs> <laughs> which I've said before, right? So, uh, yeah, these guys are so, so good, but you can see the stress. You know, Arslan is, he was saying to me before, Sam, you know what, I am actually a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, looking at the venue and just thinking the expectation, like the fact that the, he said that the Koreans, when they were asked, who do they think is going to win? They all said Arslan. No way. And it's like having yeah? the expectation that people think that you're going to win. It's like, now you have to deliver. Sure, sure. I mean, you don't get any free rides in EVO, but uh, I mean, I, I think if you went around and asked 10 random people, I think, you know, six to, to eight of them are going to say Arslan is going to take yeah. it you know and the other guys are definitely going to say he's he's coming top two top three or top four like i mean this guy is not going to be knocked out of a tournament early but as you were talking about i mean look at this guy you know he's he, he's been just winning consistently for so long now like i mean uh it, it's gotta be gay yeah right, I mean, right? he's, like, he's a favorite right ceo combo breaker you know this guy is a favorite to win so like let's see man but he's carrying the host of a country on his shoulders as well you know um, the Pakistanis are very passionate about this game, but they, you know, they're always expecting to win, so it is definitely tough. Who did uh, Shadow go for there? It was the Claudio. The Claudio, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, so this is going to be really interesting. We get the Akuma stage here. Yeah. Um, looking kind of nice, all right. Oh, yes. Battle. USA versus Pakistan, here we go. The defending EVO champion, Arslan Ash, in action here for top 48 winners. Zafina versus Claudio. Now, look. Arslan has looked a little bit shaky versus some of the Americans as well. You know, one of uh, Shadow's training partners, Cardlecore, who's currently mm -hmm. in the tournament on the loser side. 
you know, also beat Arslan at the last tournament when there was a team tournament, right? Yep, so, yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe she has some answers and has given Shadow some information. Let's see. Yeah, okay, but here we go. We are getting into the game now. Let's see if Shadow did his homework. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Let's start this. Oh, dude, I forgot Round how Arslan one. is on the stick. Like, he's playing the piano, man. <laughs> I like it, man. Yo, Making music with that's that That's it, man. Hit us with some of that tune, though. <laughs> okay. Now, one thing about Zafina is that's very, very important to do is the lateral movement we've seen all day today. But in top players, sidestepping left is the way you want to go versus Zafina. But she does have that nice one plus two counter hit launcher, which traps to the sidestep left. Yep. But uh, yeah, I mean, sidestepping is a very important part of playing versus Zafina and being patient. Shadow knows it. Sure, sure. I mean, definitely, he's definitely going to be with the guy who is going to know how to beat the Zafina yep. um, if he has done his homework, of course. Oh. Okay. And hit. that's what happens. If you try to punish the one with the suit, the two kicks will counter hit launch you. Yeah. Big that damage. Damage already. Okay, watch the rage, though. Big comeback on it. I can feel it. The jab. There we go. Rage and the Starburst available. But only. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, no, 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 that's, that's going to be it. It's down no, to the no wire. Time. Oh, damn. Okay. With, with one second left, Shadow steals around. Arslan was turning up, being really defensive. Good stuff to Shadow. Yeah. Um, I mean, Claudio definitely doesn't have a lot of uh, big comeback moves that he's just going to throw out there, except for that down 2-2 with the Starburst and, of course, his Rage Drive. But, right. Uh, so I, I could see Arsenal's idea there to just keep him out here. But look at Shadow is not giving him a moment to breathe here. Oh, yes. There we go. Shadow Woo. 20Z. Two rounds up. Looking calm as a cucumber. Here we go. Dude, I saw Arslan's little head tilt there. He was like, I wonder how that happened, man. Yeah. And he is there. Uh, his, uh, his machine brain is working right now to come up with an answer to this Claudio. Oh, yeah. But we've seen this from Arslan, though. We've seen this, right? Where in combo breaker, he lost the first match many, many times and made the comeback. But it's difficult to do. He can't keep doing this, Sam. I mean, there, there's going to be players that are going to run away with that first round win. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, what? He was sidestepping left. He got a clip by it. That went under that. That's not going to be dead, but the Oki might kill him. Ooh. Oh, the patience. No way. Is okay. that going to be dead? It's going to be very close. Peel me a potato. Here we okay. go. <laughs> oh. Oh! It is dead on the pixel. No round, round three rounds straight. Shadow 20 Z USA. He's got to be feeling good after that. Wait, did, did Arsene? Oh, okay. Stage select. Okay. Um, I thought he went into character select. I thought that's what we were going at. But, uh, yep, yep. Yeah, Shadow's definitely feeling good after that, man. 3 0. Um, Absolutely. Oh, dude, you know what? I love that. Just taking the extra second there. Arslan Ash, he's a, he's a veteran tournament player now. Like, you know, just sitting there, taking that extra couple of seconds, take a breath in or whatever. Didn't lock in the infinite straight away. Didn't just immediately rage to it and slam on his stick or whatever. You know, just sat there, took a breath, then went into it. Give himself that extra bit of breathing room. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Back into a game two. Shadows up now. Arslan yet to get on the board. Which is some, a sentence I never thought I'd say. Oh, absolutely, yeah. This. I mean, not even a round, round you know. Uh, Shadow did not make it easy for Arslan to close out these rounds. But here we go now, the the, uh, the stage pick. You know, Zafina has the best backdash in the game. Yes, sir. You know, her movement is super, super good. And it complements this, you know, this, the infinite stage complements her style. Yeah. But Shadow, again, he knows this. And Claudia doesn't do too bad on this stage either. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, if somebody's going to be a really, really solid mover here in second, it's going to be Shadow. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, already with a light lead here, Shadow, man, I'm very impressed here. The defense has been working out so well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just tipping away, poking, poking, poking. Oh, big wow. spins the Beyblade. You can hear the crowd popping off as soon as anything round happens, two. man. The crowd is with Shadow Fight. right now. Four rounds straight here for Shadow Arslan. When is he going to get his break? Yeah, he definitely, he needs to reset this momentum if he's going to put a dent in this at all. He's having trouble punishing that back one oh. as well. Look at the counter oh. here. Damn it, man. I can hear the crowd. Evo is sick, ladies and gentlemen. 
Okay. Or start panicking a little bit, man. Going for some very risky moves and Shadow. Looking very nice. Oh, yes. Big blue stop here now. Gonna give Arslan just a little bit of breathing room here, but he's not out of the woods just yet, Spag. Oh! Nice ball! Dude! Alright, Shadow! Five three. rounds straight. Ladies and gentlemen, is this about to be a whitewash? Shadow is working on a double no round brown. There's gotta be. Hey, where's Pope Job to give us another oh! one? At all? Oh! He sized up right against oh. the one plus two. He has everything going for him right now. The Starburst. He has a five round straight, Arslan Ash. Oh man, oh man. This is, uh, this is, this is a nail biter, dude. Arslan will have to dig deep here. Yep. He's gonna have to dig deep here. Dude, Arslan isn't usually in this position where he's fighting for his life. Aye, like, aye, aye. Oh, big whiff, not punished. Okay. He's messing up his four, four threes as well. Okay. The miss puts the okay. nuts. Okay. Oh! This could be it! Is that it? No! Oh, what is he doing? Get over yourself, dude! Blocks on it, okay. No, we're punished! The resource is gone now! Left. Punish! Six seconds! Oh! Five! The oh. Back wall. Ladies and gentlemen, Shadow 20Z cleared the board. No damage, no rounds taken. Wow. Six. Are you hearing that, Spag? I'm hearing Man, the pop off from the crowd. Six rounds straight. Shadow 20Z. Take your bow, son. Amazing performance there. Arslan couldn't get started. He couldn't finish the rounds, as we're seeing in the replay. And as the pressure built up, he started to panic, started to throw out really risky moves, and Shadow 20Z took full advantage. That is the defending Evo champion, the favorite to win in the losers bracket. Oh, man. I mean, if you're one of the players who usually hits top eight and you're thinking, wow, I've got an easy ride now through loser's bracket, you're wrong. You're just straight wrong, man. I mean, there are killers in there right now. Oh, oh, <laughs> here's the boy. Here's the boy coming in right <laughs> now. We were talking about him in between the break and I'm saying, man, this guy is like shrouded in mystery, man. Yeah. You can't find him, man. <laughs> you see everyone else, man. Everyone's going up to the, the stands and the stalls and buying some merch, heading over, chatting to people and stuff. This man, this is the first time I've seen him on that screen. Me too. I haven't first seen him either, time. man. Guys, what a match. What an absolutely crazy set there from Shadow and uh, Arslan. Shadow taking it. Arslan, you know, loses bracket. But we must continue. This is our job. We have to just keep on going. I, I, I wish I could keep on talking about that match, but <laughs> it is going to be another nail bite. It's going to be a banger. Lee from Korea, the legend, the arguable greatest of all time, going up against Joey Fury. Joseph Fury. <laughs> I mean, literally, you have like, you know, the, the, the demon of Tekken versus nearly the demon of America here. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, Joey Fury's been around for so long and just been winning. So much stuff. I mean, there was definitely an argument there. Back when America were kind of ruling the tournament scene, if Joey Fury was one of the better players in the world. Yeah, I 100%. Mean, I mean, he qualified for the World Tour Finals multiple times. He uh, beat JDCR in that crazy match at Combo Breaker, I believe it yeah. was, you know, as well. So he's got Koreans under the belt. But this one, this one is the one that everyone is going after. You know, the, the, the arguable greatest of all time right now it is Mr. DRX Knee. And, and I'm telling you, man, this guy is extremely, extremely strong. And he's been rock, rocking the Feng. Actually, Joey Fury also has been using a lot of Feng as well. So I'm wondering, okay. is it going to be the Feng mirror? Because Joey also plays Marduk, but I don't like the Marduk and the Marduk and Feng matchup, honestly. Really? I'm not sure yeah. what I'm not sure what Joey thinks about it, but man, Marduk obviously is a very strong character. But if it comes to Feng, man, we know Ni is Mr. Mokujin. He can play any character. That's it, man. I mean, that, what is it gonna be? Okay, it's the first. Every character TGO yeah. uh, in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's just how Nii operates, man. What's yeah. it going to be from, from uh, Joey, though? Is it going to be the pole? Is it going to be the, the mod? It's going to be the pole, dude. Defense. I didn't even think of the pole. Yeah. It's got to be one of those three characters, surely. Right. It has to be. I mean, yeah. Although, he's against the bet. No. Hovering yeah. a Kazumi here. Very dangerous. Okay. It looks like he has gone right. for the mod. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, he has a lot of experience against Feng. A lot of experience against Feng. I don't like the matchup. We were talking, I was talking to Bloodhawk earlier. Bloodhawk said that it's not a great matchup as well. But Joey Fury in the hands, Marduk in the hands of Joey Fury is different. I mean, literally, he could be one of the best players in America right now. Like, I mean, 
I mean, he is one of the best, um, but he could be one of the best on the planet right now, yeah. and he's about to show us why. So he's coming into a negative matchup here, and Neem on the Feng, actually, we, we haven't talked about this. I mean, uh, of course he can play anyone, but normally his tournament character pool is a little bit kind of smaller, nice. but... Uh, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, Feng got bumped so much in Season 4. Not only is he a strong character, but extremely fun to play as well. So that definitely factors into it. We've been seeing Ni in Korea wow. using a lot of Feng. So here we go, guys. Korea versus USA this time. Joey and Ni, let's go. All right. Okay, great punish and dock. Damn it, man. You uh, thought Ni was coming in here and not practiced? Damn, dude. Yeah, and that down back one just two into the shoulder and the wall combo is guaranteed a bar. Like, it does so much damage. Oh, wait. Uh oh, too much damage. Though. Yeah. Oh, he's got rage. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he tried something big there. Tried something very dangerous there. That was a 50-50 though, right? I mean, on the OT. Yeah. At uh, this time, he had the, the presence of mind to get up the tech roll. Yeah. Okay. Poking away here. Ooh. Me threatening with that back tempo here. Oh! Okay. That's all it took, man. Bam, bam. That's the shoulder. Ah. Big damage. The back tempo is so good. Okay. People call it the automatic Korean movement, but when you're using it, when a Korean is using it, what do you call it? I don't know. I mean, just double Korean? <laughs> like, you know, he got that, man? Okay. Okay, um, good break. Yeah. I, I don't expect to see much, uh, many uh, regular command grabs going through here in this matchup. Oh, okay. Okay, wow. Yeah. Good stuff there from me, man. Just looking uh, pretty comfortable at the moment. Joey Fury gets to find his way in. Yeah, not a lot of pressure coming from the American camp here in this. Um, knee just very, very comfortably controlling the pace and, uh, you know, really just deciding what's about to happen in the match. Yep. Maybe Suk is not the place where you want to fight me here on this thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh man, all over him right now, and this is what Fen can do to Marta when he gets in. It's just so difficult for Marta to get anything started, but he has rage. Can he do something with it? One pixel and a dream. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Nia nee, is just taking the time. He doesn't need to run any risks. Safe mid, the fish hook there, gonna take that game 3-0. What does Joey Fury do in this situation? Oh man, there's a, there's a lot to think about. He's gone to the stage select, so he's sticking with the Marduk. And I like this because he's clearly come into this match with a game plan. You know, he's discussed it with people. And, you know, sticking with the Marduk, you know, he's discussed with with probably Nashi and some other guys, you know. There's a lot of strong friend players here in the United States as well. Yeah. But none that are quite on the level of me, of course. But here we go, we're going to go to the infinite stage. Mm, More yeah. space to move around. We know that Feng is a very dangerous yeah, character in close range. Uh, so maybe a bit more space to move around might help Joey, just like he did again with Nobi against Super Kuma. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm thinking, what can Marduk do from range? I mean, you know, he's got kind of little stumpy arms that uh, can be kind of deceiving and that. But I mean, it, his keep out is not really where he's known as a, as a strong character. So Joey yeah. Fury... He's got his work cut out from here and yet to get around on the board. Yeah, yeah, but it does prevent him from getting his back to the wall and run over by knee, which happened in that last round. So let's see Joey Fury on the infinite now. Round Can one. he even it up? Let's go, second game. Okay, yeah. Me using that back one now. Uh, doesn't really want to get smothered here. Yep. Okay, fish hook, keeping it safe. Oh, does not get the float here. Yeah, he tried to go to the tailspin. Good, good try, good attempt. Yeah. Chipping okay. away with the loads right now. Yeah, doesn't need uh, anything big. And um, he does have the life lead here. Needs to get knee off him. Look at him. He is just sticking to him like glue here. Mm -hmm. Can't break it, but yes, that's one way of doing it. Yeah. Read the low, big low parry. He drops the combo though. Oh. 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 Yeah, back end ball. Oh, oh, damn, that's how you beat him, man. Jump on him, dude. Two. Round on the board now, finally, for Joey Fury. Yeah, reset the momentum here. Okay. The break. Yeah. Okay, neutral jump here. Yeah. Good defense there from both sides. Oh, wow. God, he's fast. Yeah, no launch, though. <laughs> he's so fast. <laughs> Chipping away right now, Nii has the life lead. What's Joey gonna do? Okay. Really using those throwing moves, stopping Nii from stepping. Yeah. Oh! Okay, yep. Just chopping, chopping, chopping. Nothing big has happened in this round. Yeah. 
Just poke. But it's going to have to happen here for Joey. He wants to get the oh, roll. Oh, oh my god. What a reach. Joey Fury looked into the camera there and in his brain just said, What the hell just happened? <laughs> Got hit with the stop sign. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. One round of peace there. Joey Fury. Yeah. Poking away. Me. Ooh. Okay. He's trying the grabs here. Ooh. Oh, you're the confirmed. Damn it, man. And he is running over this American. Yes. But Rage available with Marduk. You know what that means. Rage Drive is available. Mm. What's he going to do? Guess for your life here. If that blue stop hits you. Oh, my God. Joey. 20 seconds. He's trying to base on the oh, knee. Spag, what's about to happen? Look at this. Oh, oh. the fish hook. Knee with perfect timing. I think Joey was trying to bait something out in knee, but it just didn't come, man. The guy's too patient. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the potential final round for Joey Fury's winner bracket live here. Did the wall carry, but wait, double O parry. I actually saw Joey Fury exclaiming delight that he got a break from that pressure. Yeah. Okay. Look at this man's close range. This is what we talked about with Feng. He's so good in that close, close range. Marduk doesn't really have the moves to keep people out. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. Okay. Rage available now for knee. Down for one counter hit. No oh! grab! The one that makes it through. The yeah. one grab. Everything else was tech. That entire set. The one grab that gets through is the one that knee took to, to win the game. Yeah, that was all that was needed, but Nii just showing, you know, championship qualities there, man. He's been dominating in Korea, and he's come here, EVO 2022, to make a statement, Sam, to make a statement. So, man, crazy couple of matches we just had, man. We've got Arslan in losers, but Nii, you know, <laughs> this is the grand finals people think was gonna happen. You know, people thought, winners finals, Nii and Arslan. Yep. That's not possible anymore. It's, it's not the winners possible. finals, it's not possible. Arslan is in losers, Nii continues on. Joey Fury, though, Oh, it's a rough one. Um, like I said, you know, the Marduk and uh, Feng matchup is, di is difficult because, as you guys saw, when Feng is in close range, he has so many tools that can mix you up and pressure you. His press on block moves, his jabs are really good, the back yeah. tempo uh, with the automatic movement. Uh, and then the down back three, which is such a good, strong low, is not launch punishable against uh, Marduk because Marduk doesn't have a launch for it from, yeah. from full crouch. Yeah. So there's so many things that worked against him, but I'm sure he had a... He had, Joey's such a clever guy, right? He's always thinking about you know strategies and stuff so he had a strategy didn't work out for him but i'm glad that he at least stuck with it you know yeah i mean like that uh, that thing w i call a quarterback memory you know mm. it wasn't the play that's bad it's just the execution at that particular time didn't work out yeah. and uh, like Joey has been around. He has that tournament experience. If he's stuck with the Marduk, and I know there's people at home that are going to be like, hey, what are you doing there, man? You know, mm -hmm. uh, you should have maybe switched out or whatever, because he does have the Paul and stuff. He really likes some of those bigger hitbox characters and stuff. But you can best believe, as you said, he went into that with a plan. It just, the execution right there didn't really work out. Yeah, that's um, it, man. But, you know, he's still alive. He's in the loser side. Mm -hmm. And he's got the run to make. And if anyone can make it, it's, that, it's Joey Fury, man. It's definitely Joey. Fury, but man, you know, something that Arslan actually said before the tournament was that he thinks that, you know, the internationals that haven't really traveled much are going to be very surprised when um, they play against the Americans and the, and the Europeans, you know, because the Western players have leveled up so much during the pandemic. And, you know, I'm sure he surprised himself now, you know, he's beaten Shadow so many times before, yeah. but now he's lost. And it wasn't just a loss, Sam, you said it yourself, it was six rounds straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the world of Tekken is getting so much more interesting by the day, by the year. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, te this is the place that you want to be, ladies and gentlemen, if you want the best Tekken action <laughs> in the world right now. But we are going to take a very quick. It's absolutely insane. We just got a couple of updates about the bracket. Woo! And uh, I mean, if, if the top eight was a sh tree with fruit on it, we would be shaking and the fruit would be on the ground right now. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea how this is going to happen. Arslan in losers. Arslan sent to losers six rounds straight. The defending EVO champion, guys. Anakin sent infected to losers. JDCR eliminates Tarke. Joe Crush eliminated Chikorin. What? Joe Crush eliminated Chikorin. Junior eliminated Book. Stop. Stop, dude. Like, what is happening right now? k -Wiz beat Kunlcore, eliminates her from the tournament. Kuraten eliminates... eliminated Kunlcore. Kuraten eliminated Kero. 
Ayo hey, Richie eliminates Peeling. Sefi beating you from Japan. What is happening? This is absolutely insane. And we don't even have time to dwell on this right now. Oh, we yes. have a serious match in front of us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see it on your screen. John Ding versus Pina. Pina from Japan. Ooh, John ooh. Ding from Korea. The multiple Tekken World Tour finalist here, John Ready Ding. You know, made a massive name for himself a while ago when he played the, that amazing double Eddie and Master Cup. I remember watching it still, Tekken Tag 2 time. Man, this guy was <laughs> just an absolute beast. And since then, he's been playing multiple characters. Now he's stuck with the Julia. Yeah. But the question is this, though. Pina has been traveling internationally for a while now. Mm -hmm. John Ding hasn't. He's, he's stayed in Korea. But he has the experience. Here we go. This is a top player versus top player here. Yeah. Julia versus Raven. Pinya versus John Ding. I mean, it, it, it's going to be an interesting shake-up where John Ding kind of came from bottom okay. tiers Here and goes. learned to, to, to grind his teeth there and like working really, really hard well, to get yeah. anything. Yeah. And now he's playing Sorry. arguably one of the better, yeah. more well-rounded characters in the game and playing absolutely <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Look at this already, dude. But yeah, I mean, you know, I believe it was John Ding actually who said that. It's actually kind of hard to use Julia versus Japanese players because so many people in Japan play Julia. Right. Yeah. But he's gone with the character here, and like you said, so well rounded. And that's the first round on the board for John Ding. Round two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fight. Japan versus Korea here. Okay. <laughs> Korea versus Korea. <laughs> no, we can play, we'll, we'll get the names and uh, right. the tag sorted. Yeah, but it is Korea versus Japan. Yeah, Pina representing Japan here. Yeah. Um, oh. And that Raven, so creative, Sam. So creative with the Raven. No! Was it in range? Oh, oh. Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think I've ever seen a Master Raven player that's boring, but look at this. John Woo! Ding. John Ding don't even matter, man. He, uh, he he doesn't care how creative you're being, man. He's just going to beat you to death. That's it, man. With the rewards up, beautiful combo. John Ding going 100 miles per hour right now. He's trying to stay in his winner's side. Yep, absolutely. I mean, look how many people are already after being eliminated from the tournament. You do not want to go out to losers right now. No, you don't. Uh, no, you Jeez. don't. Nice. Okay. No break in the one throw. And Pinya gets around on the board. Yep, okay. Round four. Tekken is a very much a momentum-based game, so uh, Lexi, but damn, man, John Ding don't care. He doesn't, he, man. Man, he came from, like, like messing around and having fun style play, so uh, I respect it. I respect mm -hmm. the attempt to start the, start the round off with a lawn. Wow. Damn! And we get the seven golden letters right there. Yes, we do, and it looks very comfortable, Sam, honestly. It looks very, very comfortable there for him. Takes a swig of that water. I mean, look at him, man. He's as cool as a cucumber, man. Yeah, you know, absolutely. He's just is. checking his mask, making sure he's got the right sponsor on and stuff. Like, <laughs> you know, I like it, man. I like it. Okay. It's got yeah. The, they've got the both guys got the fresh trim as well. They're looking nice. They're ready. That's for it, man. They, 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 they got to get ready for Evo. Like, you know, oh, damn. The okay. lanyard's on the back right now. He got the Superman cape. My man's wearing like a cape. Yeah, Let's man. go. Oh, All right. You're about to fly away now, man. Super right. Saiyan Pinya, yeah. Let's go, man. Dude, the thing as well, John Ding doesn't wear headphones. So he can hear everything that's going on around him. So, yeah. I mean, let's hope okay. he doesn't uh, have goes. to fight a, a USA <laughs> player hey, up on that stage, Some man. people, they absorb that and they they, they use Round it to gain one. momentum. They like it. They yeah. love playing in that environment. But well, we're going to the infinite stage now. Let's go. Yeah, Pina picking the infinite here. Um, it's, uh, it's almost a classic now for game two to be played on an infinite now. Really? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just getting the big parries, though. Okay, yep. let's see what he needs to do with the extra space here. Now, we did go from Souk, the smallest stage in the game, um, to an infinite where walls don't exist. Oh, wow. wow. Who uses that move, man? That's the 4 4 1. Hey, hey. Okay. Good Oki. Oh. Oh, oh, yes! God damn it, man. Big flying knee gonna take it, man. Uncle well, Jay shadows. He calls that a Tony fight. the Tiger. Because it's great. <laughs> Dude, it's sick, man. <laughs> All right, big block and launch there from John Ding. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay, just chipping away, poking oh, away. Get the counter here. Wow. John Ding has done his homework. Big damage incoming. Yeah, looking for another perfect here. Uh oh. Not gonna get it. No, no, not yeah, I, I ruined it. I ruined it for him. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, I was just about to say Pena's about to make a sick combat right <laughs> now, man. Fight. Okay. One round of pizza, second game. Yup. Okay. Ooh. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay, weird stuff. Going for the cross up in an infinite? Ah, uh, but he messes up the forward forward one input. That would have been a combo. Kind of tight on the on the execution there. Mad axes here for John Ding. Going to put him uh, with a very comfortable life lead here. Can Pina that uphill battle. Oh, oh hey. double parry. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Oh, the bow and arrow. The second, the arrow. Yeah, you just, know? just the arrow. <laughs> okay. One hit. Nice. The low. Oh. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Gets that round on the board here now for Pina. Man, this is some high caliber Tekken right now. I mean, yeah. definitely not losing your focus or anything. Great. Really, really clever stuff there. Pina up round one round four. here now. Fight. Let's see if we can get this game here and we can get to a final one. Absolutely. He's making some really, really clutch reads here, Pina. And winning the round. John Ding on the back foot now. Like you said, Tekken is a momentum based game. But he gets another Dude, counter. Hit. Every time one of us says that, man, John Ding does that launcher. Oh! What messes <laughs> up? Let's do it. Let's try again. Tekken, Tekken is, is a momentum based game. game. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right, here we go. That seems to be the trick. Every time That's we say it. that, John Ding wins. <laughs> All right, let's go. Final right. round. Set gonna, point. Uh, here we go. Tekken is a movement based <laughs> game. <you know? laughs> Damn! What is <laughs> happening, dude? <laughs> oh, we gotta stop rigging this, man. Yeah, alright. Okay, I'm just gonna come to the Damn, serious movement out of me. Yeah, alright. Oh, okay. Rage. Nice. <laughs> I was about to say it. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, if John Ding makes this comeback right now, man. Oy, oh, right. Yes. Okay, yeah. And he kind of popping off here. You see him, man. That Superman cape is paying off for him, man. Business. Definitely, man. Don't One of the Donuts person. boys, Pina, um, representative uh, of Japan. Um, but uh, you can best believe that uh, he's, he's definitely used to playing uh, the uh, the South Korean players. So uh, I, I I can assure you that these guys have uh, come up against each other before. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. But I feel like, you know, we might be going back to the wall stage. You know, John is yep. playing super, super aggressively in his face kind of thing. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he gets the wall back in play. And is it going to be the super? Oh. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yes. the smallest stage in the game. And Pena's thinking really, really hard now because the job is not done. Managed to clutch out that second game, but there is still work to be done. Here yes, we sir. go now. It's and about you can to see, be. Man, he's like, you know, talking to Pena, he does get a little bit nervous, you know, and he's, you can yeah. see the heart rate's going up, you know, he's trying to calm himself down. You know, he is still, you know, young and relatively in inexperienced compared to John Ding on these international stages. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I don't even want to hazard a guess of how old he is. Um, he's very young. All yeah, right. he, he looks quite young, but... Uh, um, definitely yeah, has the caliber to, to kind of play here with okay, the big boys. Um, and we can see it there, clutching that game here. But okay, well, the walls are back in play now, Spag. That's smallest it. stage. Let's see what he can do here. Pina, John Ding, one to one. Yep. Okay. Nice, good break on the man axes and the big low parry there. Yep. Okay. Right. Hey, hey, hey. What? Oh! Nice. Okay. Good down jab there to beat the shotgun. Oh, wow. God, John Ding, he knows this matchup. Yeah, it's absolutely. so odd to think that like he's ready for this, you yeah. know? But I mean, that's probably what it takes to be get this far in the bracket at EVO. Look at this though, all the way to the wall. Yeah, this is gonna be dead. One, one, four. Then. Oh man, that combo is so good. That's wow. such yeah. a massive chunk of damage in Pinya. Takes the lead in the set. Okay, for the first time here. Trying out with the bow. Oh, he messed up his last-handed one, though. Yeah. Oh. Gets away with that one. Hop kicks. Here we go. This shoe goes to the other wall here, Sam. Hey, hey, hey. Tiny, they're fighting in a shoe box here. Of course, it's going to the other wall. Yeah. Right. Double splat here. Big blue fist. Uh-oh. Damn. That works one. Ooh. Damn. All the way back to the center stage now. But Pina, Ooh. yeah. Okay. I mean, John Ning only needed well, one right three. there. Yeah, that would have been pretty bad if uh, if, if Pinya didn't die there. Yeah. Here we go. Back, back two. Oh, one to one here on the round count and the game count here. It's all even Stevens right now, but Pinya gets a huge launch right here. All the way to the wall. A lot of damage coming in here. Look Ooh. at the damage, man. The red bar. He's got range available. No the back way, turn dude. Pinya one round away round from making four. this, dude. Whatever he did Fight. there in the break, holding his head. 
lowering his heart rate, man. It's working right now. Absolutely. But are we going to get a final final round? Looks like Pinion's been moving with more confidence now. John Ding, not quite sure what to do. Bow and arrow. Have we got 50-50 time? Okay. Right. Uh -oh. Pinion has a 50-50 of his own. Yeah. Oh, the cross up, but it doesn't work. He got reverse crossed up. Oh no, force wasn't guaranteed. What's the mix? Miss. Oh, final, final round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see it. Players are starting to pop up. The crowd is going nuts. They're throwing things at each other. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Korea versus Japan here, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We'll come down to this. Evil 2022, man. Stop this kick. is sick. Oh, that's so big. That's so big for John Ning right now. This is the wall, a lot of damage here, but leave some of it on his plate. Finish your food, sir. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. This is about to get so close right now. After this combo, John Ding is going to be just outside of rage. No, doesn't get the wall. Yeah. Oh! No, sorry. He low no the dick jump. Beautiful stuff from John Ding. Not going to be dead, though. One more pixel. Oh! oh! What? He's Jesus, come on. Oh, my God. No way, no way. Oh, no, no way. he did it. He no did way. it. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! That's gonna be it! Pinya! With one pixel of health! Puts John Ding into the loser bracket! Jesus. What was that? What oh, was that? Man. Woo! Jesus! Fist bumps all around! Pinya! Take a bow! What a set! Evo 2022! Where were you? Where were you when this happened, man? That's what they're going to be asking. Dude, players are getting kicked out. The reigning double champ is down in the loser's bracket, man. The Tekken World Tour Championship is out. He's out. He's out of the tournament. Chikorin is out. And look at this. Pina comes back from a 1-0 deficit on Suk. Yes. Swings it all the way back. Um... Yeah, just Damn. amazing, amazing stuff there. It was just constant back and forth, like a tennis match. Yeah. You know, just constant back and forth in momentum. And then Pinya, with a presence of mind and the, and the clutch factor to be able to make the comeback. Look how much health he had here oh. in the replay. One pixel. You know, the <laughs> whip on the raise drive into the parry, has a lot of recovery, goes for the mid, and then here we go. The oh. down forward four, and then that was it. That's all he needed. A beautiful execution on the combo. And that is definitely my favorite match of the day. Absolutely, man. I mean, this is just the caliber of games that we're getting here at uh, EVO 22, Mandalay Bay, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is, this is what Tekken delivers, guys, time and time again. It's such an easy it's such an easy game to commentate as well. It's so easy. When the Slow like mos, greats, like it flashes up on screen, man. Tekken 7 is like a cheat sheet for commentators, man. Like, <laughs> yo, when it stops moving, scream a little louder. Like, you know, <laughs> when people flash blue, that's and you get the big audio cue, man. You get in your headphone, pling, you're like, oh! <laughs> you know? I just say that, man, like, you know. And again, I wish I could talk about that match, you know, for another couple of hours, but we have to move on. This is EVO 2022, guys. You think it's over? Nah. There are more matches to come. And right now on stage, Chanel versus Dojin. Dojin from the Philippines. Chanel, DRX boy from Korea. Dude, how do you even know it's Chanel? Mm. You know? Oh, yeah, it's written on his head. I <laughs> forgot, like, you know? <laughs> no, he looks sick, man. Uh, mm. A really, really funny and charismatic player. Yeah. Um, and uh, an ex-chef, or maybe he's still uh, chefing, I don't know. Mm. Um, so he'll cook you up a storm and he'll absolutely smash you to bits as well in absolutely, Tekken. Yeah. So, um, Dujan, yeah, we, we saw him earlier on. He is, uh, I mean, he's looking Eve already. He's looking top eight ready. He's just, he's all together um, about to win this game in his head. You can tell. You can uh, yeah, tell no, right absolutely, man. Dujan, he was actually meant to come down here with AK. You know, that's the, that's the dynamic duo of the Philippines, you know, like yes, uh, Dujan and AK. But uh, it's just, it seems like it's just uh, Dujan here. And uh, I didn't watch the match, but I heard that he, he picked Mina and did uh, a lot of damage. It was absolutely insane. He knocked Chikorin down into the losers. Oh, no way. Yep, that's uh, what, that was it. He oh started with this... This Leroy, like, okay. I don't know. It must have been a mistake or something, like, you know. Right. Chikorin just absolutely walked all over it, switched to the Nina, and it was like Chikorin had never played Tekken before. He made him look so bad right there, man. I know so. there's a Nina player in the Philippines. Mots, shout-outs to you, my friend. Uh, 
you know, he came and stayed in Europe for a while before the second World Tour Finals and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, played on ranks. I got to play a death match against him, got my ass kicked. Uh, but yeah, he's very, he's got very strong <laughs> players out there in the Philippines, man. And uh, Dojin, he uses multiple characters. I know he has a very sick Lars as well. Yeah. And Lars in season four has been given some nice buffs, you know, uh, arguably the, the longest wall carry in the game, you yes. know, and big damage as well. Dojin is just a very fundamental, strong, strong player that can just like, you know, uh, pick up any character and make it work. Chanel on the other hand, man, just, you know, a legend, you know. Um, Sure. Kind of in many, many major tournaments, he has f uh, fallen just a little bit short of that first place. But then, yeah. you know, the fact that he can be consistently in top three at these massive events just goes to show the caliber of his, of his level, right? You sure. Yeah. Um, but, uh, man, it, do you know what? The, the boys are looking dripped out as well in the jackets, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Niga is one as well. Oh, man, the, the boys are looking good here. <laughs> Um, all the way from South Korea, um, looking uh, looking real good. But we are just getting into the game now, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we can see both players here. Um, Chanel, mm. man, I need to get me one of those Chanel headbands. Man. <laughs> Is that part of his merch line? Can maybe, we get maybe. one of those, you can, man? You can ask him. Ask him after the match. Well, only if he wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah. want to talk to people when they've lost. Dude, do oh, that. man. Rookie mistake, <laughs> dude. First time I met Fergus, I was like, that guy don't like me, man, at all, dude. Straight up. <laughs> you, know, like, you can't talk to him after he loses. <laughs> dude, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, we're just getting set up here, guys. Oh. Um, just a... Uh, uh, just so much fun here today, man. This is just... Yeah. I, I am loving every minute of being here. It's... I mean, the weather is so nice, man. It's so warm out here. Mm. It feels like we're on holidays. We're here to do a job, though. Um, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's not like UK and Ireland, is it? It's not quite like UK and Ireland. It it's a bit not. different, isn't it? It's a little bit different. <laughs> but, uh, ladies and lads, you know, we said before that the top 48 was going to be insane. It has actually exceeded our expectations, and we already knew it was going to be insane. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Evo 2022, Tekken 7 here. My name is Sam Ding, and I'm joined by Spag. Spag, we had a little bit of a technical issue. I mean, it, the PlayStation 4 got about as hot as it is outside right now, <laughs> and it overheated, so we had to just swap out the PS4. The games were too hot, bro. That's it, man, you know, yeah. The boys uh, just playing straight straight fire on those <laughs> machines but no uh, so yeah we had to switch it out sometimes this happens um uh you know uh, nothing against the ps4 um but uh yeah we won't try to cancel the ps4 that's yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice you know yeah yeah, yeah. today <laughs> give me one more overheated ps4 man no but uh <laughs> yeah so we, we swapped it out and uh we're we're getting back into our next game i don't think Oh, we were talking about this, yeah, Chanel yeah. and Dojin, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so, uh, yeah, the guys have had to just kind of cool off a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. chill out for a minute. Um, I'm really curious now as to whether Dojin is going to play his Nina or that Leroy that I saw earlier on. Yeah, um, I mean, I've not, not really been following too much of the Philippine scene and, like, what's been going on there, the tournament scene. But, uh, you know, Dojin, you know, for a long time has played multiple characters. He's always done that, always yeah. done that. And I feel like it might be a matchup-based thing. It's like, okay, versus this character, I'm gonna play this character versus that character. And, you know, he's got that kind of dynamic going on, which is always really, really helpful, especially in season four of Tekken. I think having multiple characters can be very, very helpful. At least two, you know? Sure. Uh, three could be even better, you know? But uh, Dojin definitely has that, I feel. Like, he plays by matchup. And, um, you know, we might see the Lars, we might see the Leroy. Might yep. see the, the Nina, man. I mean, that I mean, Nina. I'm, I didn't see the match, so I'm oh. interested to see that because there's not a lot of Nina players out there. We know that in Tekken, Nina is one of those characters which is high execution, and not many people historically have played her, but now uh, we've seen more and more Nina players. We've got some in Europe, you know, in America, and of course, now with, uh, with Dojin. It's looking nice, man. I'm, I'm enjoying oh, it. I'm liking the variety. Dude, you're going to have to watch that VOD back because mm. that game was absolutely insane, dude. I made, I was like, I'm not sure if Dojin is fit to take it to Chikorin or whatever because right. this Leroy, I mean, who plays Leroy? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. you know, after... No one really plays Leroy anymore. That's no crazy. one. Actually, like, Ch Chikorin does, you know, finally enough. Really? Like, yeah, he actually plays Leroy himself. Wait a minute. The mystery is starting to, to <laughs> unfold here because Chikorin made this Leroy look terrible. Oh, really? Like, oh, really? I don't know, is it the, the, the Leroy was terrible mm. or did Chikorin do that? Like, yeah. But then the swap to the Nina, man. Dujin got this like Nina, man, and it's scary. It's scary to watch right there, man. The Philippine you know? scene is just in general really, really, uh, like, very really strong. AK, you know, was when he came uh, to the Tekken, to Tekken World Tour Finals before the Tekken World Tour. It's called the King of the Iron Fist. Yes, sir. And he was 13 years old. 
Damn. I, I think. And he actually beat Help Me. Help Me was b b back then one yeah. of the strongest Korean players, arguably top five. And AK just flip kicked with Law the hell out of him. <laughs> like, just sent him out of the tournament, bro. It was madness, man. And then that's when I first like got to learn about the Philippines being such a strong scene. And yeah. then, of course, Rev Major, which is actually happening next month, you know, um, in yeah. the Philippines. I mean, that, that is a tournament that I just, I've, I've always dreamed about going to, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because the vibes there are sick, you know, the, the community there is really passionate. And then the level there is really strong as well. So, you know, there's a, a lot to look forward to. Big shout out to the Philippine scene, man, of course. But the yeah, question here is this, Sam. Lee's already shown, you know, he made Joey Fury look a little easy. And, and not many people in the world can do that, no, right? Sir. Now, the other DRX boy here, Chanel. How is his gameplay right now? I mean, what is his level at the moment, man? We're going to see it. He's going up against a very strong player. The other DRX boys, as Welcome sick as people are telling us right now, we'll see. Ladies and lads, Chanel versus Doji. Yeah, okay. Keep an eye on that character select panel there on the right. Dojin is fighting out of the P2 side. So we'll uh, we'll see what's going on here now, man. This is a... Uh, his character choice, man. It could be. I'm really hoping it's the Nina. I, I, I just want him to go straight into this Nina. Right. I mean, because I did not see a lot of love for that. Uh, for, oh, oh. Yeah, you never know, though, man. I'm telling you, Dojin is that guy. He plays so many characters. It might be a counterpick thing right now, but what is it going to be from Chanel? Is it the Eliza? Is it the uh, the Elisa? Yeah. You know, that's the question be. too. Zafina. Oh God, I thought we were about to see a Brian. But like, <laughs> I was like, what? Okay, Lydia. Lydia Zafina. He's looking at the Lydia right now. Leroy Fatumra. Oh. Have we got a lot? Okay. So that's Dojin on Fakumran. Right. Chanel right. hovering the Zafina. That'd be a good pick against the Fak. Yeah, yeah, Zafina and Fakum. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Eliza. Oh. All right, here we go. Locked and loaded. Ladies and lads, here we go. Korea. Straight infinite as well. Versus the Philippines, yes. I mean, this is going to be good. This is going to be absolutely sick. I haven't seen this yet. Dude, I have only seen Dojin's Leroy and his Nina today. And, uh, I mean, one was better than the other. I don't want to spoil <laughs> it for you, but... Uh, yeah, but here we know. Here we go. So we've got Chanel on the Eliza. We've seen him kind of pick this character up, every, like time and time again. It's definitely been his second for a long time. Right. Yeah. Um, but he obviously thinks because he was hovering for quite some time. Mm -hmm. He thinks that this is going to be a good choice into this pick. Yeah. He you know? waited for Dojin to lock in, and he went Round for the Eliza. One. Right. And we got the infinite stage as well. We I mentioned it before that Eliza is the only character that can jump back and whiff punish you. Yeah. And on an infinite stage, that could do really, really well. <laughs> For your for your keep out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh oh, oh, dive kick, uh, miss input there. Um, it is it can get a little bit uh, funny to, to kind of hit it um, yeah. consistently every time, but uh, yeah, not looking good there for Chanel straight off the bat here. Getting the life, getting the life uh, lead back from an Eliza player on an infinite is very difficult to do. <laughs> He just has to sprint in one direction. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh. the running tackle, Chanel on the board. But like I said, so hard to do. People know Eliza to be that character, you know, what's the meter? In oh. close range, has a down three and a lot of close range sick moves. Uh, but the jump packs, man, is, is they're very strong. Yeah, I'm another messed, uh, messed up dive kick here. Can you imagine how much Chanel would be in the lead if all of the dive kicks hit? Yeah. Like, they're difficult be... to do, those instant dive kicks. Yeah, I mean, they are, they are. And let's give the man a little bit of. Uh, of, uh, of kudos here, but uh, sitting on two bars a meter here as well. Something that we didn't touch on. Whoa. And Eliza. Um, oh no! Dojin with a huge drop. Yeah, both guys dropping combos there early on in this set. Not sure what's going on, but Dojin has the life lead. Okay. Uh, Chanel still sitting on a bar a meter. Again, he had two of them. Oh, but there it is. Down 4 1, down 4 1, down 4 1. Is going to put Dojin on the scoreboard there. 1 to 1. Gareth mm -hmm. Drake. And you know, Eliza built meter a lot quicker than the other 2D characters yep. as well. So you can be a little bit more liberal with using that meter. Okay. No punish on the swipe. Yep. Oh, jet kick. Both players. Playing so cool right now. Not about to like, you know, okay, wait a minute. Just I was about to say, nobody really wants to pull a trigger. Chanel burns a Mac meter and doesn't get anything for it. I'm, lo I'm loving this from Jojin as well. He just chipped in away Chanel bit by bit. That was a big read there, mate. It didn't work out for him. Back one on block. Okay. Yeah, life. Oh! 
Life lead, uh, by the way, I'm dodging right now. Uh, I feel like this one uh, might be a little bit of a close one. Uh -huh. What ten, are you thinking? Ten seconds left on the clock, man. And Chanel steals by the life lead. That's very, very fragile one. What are you going to do? Oh, yes. Jeez. Man, you have to stay so composed to pull that sort of play off. Like, I mean, when you can feel the adrenaline rising and rising as that second counter counts down all the way, hitting five seconds, that you're just ready to block and put it back. That's situation, yeah. man. Very good defense there, but Chanel now has two bars of soap, two bars of meat ahead to work with. Yep, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Colson there in the bottom left of your screen. Keep an eye on that, ladies and gentlemen, because that is going to be the comeback factor for Chanel. If he drops low or he's just going to burn it to end this round. Damn, yeah, man. 4-4-4-3, four, 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 yeah, very good. 4-4-3. Four, four, oh! Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Love it. Okay, a rare miss throw break that for Chanel for the oh. nice jab. Yeah, big. Oh no, Chanel! This is very uncharacteristic. We normally see Chanel hit those dive kicks time and time again. Yeah, okay, block on the blue stop. Oh no! Oh! The trade and Dojin will take the first match. You win. Okay, okay, Sprague, I'll be honest with you. I want to see a change. I want to see it. Oh, uh, yeah. You're on stage select. No, he went okay. to character select. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah, I think Chanel just needs it, man. I, it, it, uh, I mean, it wasn't very evident that the character was uh, was that. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got the Elisa pick. But it was just, as soon as you saw the, the, the missed dive kicks three times, uh, that means that this character is not ready for tournament. You need to put it in the bag. Work on it again, even like go back to your hotel room later on tonight yeah. and just grind that out, you know, run those drills or whatever. Elisa, one of the characters that we known Chanel, Chanel has been playing her as a main for years, yes. you know. Um, so uh, I'm expecting to see a little bit more tighter on the execution here. And yeah, me. and go back to what you're used to, man. You know, this is what it is. Chanel now going to the main character. He's got the funny suit on as well. Damn, let's, let's go, go. dude. Ladies Fan and service. We're on the beach. All right, dude. we are on the beach. Here we go. Fakum Ram versus Round Elisa one. Dojin. One on up here. Let's go. Okay. All right, you always got to watch that balcony, man. There is the potential for huge damage. Look at it. I'm telling you, comfortability is one of the most important factors at this level of a tournament. Already, he just looks better. He looks more comfortable. He's moving more freely. Oh, oh but wait a minute. The guard break. break out of the gate. Look at the combo as well. Lovely stuff. Big ball parry. All right. Good duck. Okay. Trying Ooh. to go for the stack. Destruction oh. stance. Woo. God damn. Okay. It's the chain sauce. I'm <laughs> bringing the sauce here right now at Evo 2022. <laughs> the chain sauce. <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh! Big oh. <laughs> one coming in here. All right. Nice. Ooh. Trying to shoot lasers. He hasn't even got any shoot lasers. Dang. Trying them anyway. Trying them foot wraps, man. <laughs> All right. A big life lead there. Just like you said, Sam looks a lot more comfortable now, right? And look at look the look at that. This is exactly what I'm saying. He just, it, it, it looks, as you're watching it, he feels better on this character. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking about the Eliza, but that, to me, that just wasn't ready here for tournament. Nice block and punish. Chanel, it looks like a different Round character. Yeah. He passed the stick to his older brother. He said, here, finish this game for me, man. It's too hard. I can't beat this boss. And look at that, man. Dojin, though, dropping combos, but he has a massive life lead at 50% off half price. Yes, sir. Chanel got to work hard. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Dojin be a, bit, a bit more uh, patient now. He doesn't have to take any risks. He yeah. has a massive life lead. Just chip away. Yeah, but look at this. Chanel with the tournament experience and the patience to back that when he's on a light deficit here. Forced Ojin to try come in here against him where Elisa or Elisa is uh, the strongest. Safe on block. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's one thing that Fakum Ram can do to you, right? On block, he actually has quite a few mix ups. Yeah. And uh, Chanel's been guessing correctly a lot of the time, but that time guessed it wrong and yeah. And not paying for it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what we haven't talked about as well as uh, Bag is the lateral movement of Elisa. Definitely one of the widest side steps in the game. Can clear the most ground. Yeah. Okay, full crouch. Here we go. Oh, man. So scary. So scary. Just testing it. Not even uh, near the wall. All these plus frames. All the plus frames. You have the wall now. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, oh God, that's a big launch. See the micro sidestep just to adjust it here. Get the maximum amount of damage. Watch the blue stop. Oh, what? Oh, what He's the hell crazy. was that? That's Chanel! Chanel! What? I don't think going to be dead, though. One more mix-up to do it. Oh. What? <laughs> Jesus. No fear. Dojin on set point now. I, I, I don't believe this, man. The man has no fear. Just none. Oh, the little twitch duck. Chanel is so good, dude. He's on the back foot, though, here, uh, Sam. He's on the back foot. Dojin has a tiny, tiny life lead. Mm -hmm. He's still going to find an opening. He's trying it here. Jab, down forward, one, two. Good okay, side step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. We're getting closer to the wall here. This might come into play before this round is out. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds left on the oh. clock. That's a lot of damage. Oh. That is a lot of damage, Chanel. Scraped back into this game. One to one now on the game. Look at him, man. Yeah. He's an assassin, dude. Just yep. chill, dude. Yeah, absolutely, man. You know, he's so experienced. He's been here time and time again. Dojin now has to think about this one, Sam. I mean, is he going to go to a character select? It looks like he's going character select right now. But the, Give the, me back, that the back room room was working, man. The it was. The back room was working. Definitely wasn't the character thing. Oh, dude, he could pick anything right now. I'm so scared. What's it going to be? I'm so scared. Oh, oh. He's hovering the... Oh, he's thinking about okay. it. He's thinking about it. Might just go back to the back room, honestly. Have some time to think. Lars, okay. This is one of his main characters, but no. No. All right, he's thinking, he's thinking. What's it going to be? Dude, give me that Nina. I give see the Nina. That, Nina. He's give me it. that. He's teasing it right now. There we oh. go. There we go, dude. This is sick, dude. Chanel. It's not locked in yet. It's not locked in yet right now. He's thinking, though. He's taking his sweet time. And he needs to. He needs to think right now. He just cancelled the... A... Oh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, this is going to be really, really interesting now. Because if Chanel watched Chickering get put down into losers earlier around by this Nina, he's going to be shaking in his boots right now. But that's Chanel. That's Chanel with um, enough tournament experience to kill a large moose. Man, <laughs> the boy has been doing this for years, man. So, I mean, is uh, this is the experience versus who's hot right now, you know? Absolutely, man. Let's see what we've got. We're going to the last day on Earth, the Walking Dead stage. Hi. Let's see who's about to stay alive here well, in this winner's well, bracket well, bag. Right. Is it going to be the Nina, or is Chanel going to kill a moose? Ooh, look at that high Sheena, boys! Mm -hmm. That's Let's what I it. like. Okay. Nice block there. The defense for Chanel, so good. Yeah. Like you said, though, Sam, you've got to be really careful when you're playing against an elite player. Her back dash is so good, but also the lateral movement, the heavy go, rocket punch, yep. grab the wall, tie the shoelace. Okay. It's looking like a seven golden. Yeah, but could be. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wait oh. a minute. Seven golden for who? Oh, damn, man. Just boom. Get yeah. it in. I like it. I like it. It's a good start there from Chanel. Yep. Back to the Okay, underneath. There we go. Lateral movements bag. You were talking about it. Mm -hmm. All the way underneath. Throw that head at her, man. Beautiful whip punish. Mm -hmm. Oh, does not for the destruction mode. Wow, there's the back dash bag. You were talking about it. Yeah, yeah, the move is so good. Dojin so trying to find an opening right now, but Chanel's defense is holding up so well. It's like a yeah. stone wall. Yeah, I mean, definitely just switching on a pivot, man. I mean, from the, the way Chanel was playing in the last game, it's yeah. been completely different. Just okay. that defensive style, man. It's so good. Mm -hmm. oh, back to the wall now. Watch yourself, Dojin. Yeah. Not oh. long left. Unblockable the chainsaw. Oh, no. Ooh. Wow, so, so One ready, stuck in string. Left. Dude, I was talking all sorts of up about this uh, Nina, and it's yet to put a round on the board for Dojin. Damn, okay, okay. We're back in the game here now. Let's see if we uh, get this little bit of a momentum shift. I'm, I'm afraid to use that word anymore after the, uh, <laughs> the debacle of it, like, you know? The confirm on the back 2-2 two, two string, the slap, but Chanel has rage, and the wall positioning, the chainsaws are out. Ooh. Gotta finish this, Dojin. Yeah, it's, don't play with your food, man. Just eat it. Oh, no. Oh, the lows. No. Oh, oh nice. Desperately. He's on the board here, He Sam. needed that. He needed that. Are we about to see another final finals bag? I don't know, man. Chanel's been looking very, very strong, but Dojin, he's clawing back. He's fighting really hard. Yeah. Okay. Philippines. 
What you got for me? Oh, damn. That's a big counter hit. Okay. Yep. All the way nearly to the wall. Yeah, that's a big lucky now for Chanel. Ooh. Big whip. Okay. Nice. One of them. Oh, this pressure cooker is building right now. Something's about to give. He just backdashing now, man. Chanel just trying to force those to overextend. Nice. Low power. Come oh, on, dude. Hey. Ooh, a weird wall slap. Oh! oh! What? There we go. Yeah. Oh! What? Huge. Huge. Oh my god, this is going to be so. No! Oh! He tried to go for the flappy combo. Oh no. And he dropped it. I see the chainsaws are out. Uh! Oh god, eight seconds left on the clock. Oh my god, that's Six, five. He needs that. Here we go, Spag. We have a final. final. Final round between these two. One of these guys is going into the worst loser's bracket I've ever seen in my <laughs> life, dude. I mean, you're dead. Like, you know, it doesn't matter, man. Oh, my gosh. It all comes down to this right now. Georgian has momentum. He's chipping away. He's chipping away. Oh, no, he got the combo. Oh, yeah, with that hard, man. With it hard. Oh. The defense. The defense, man. Chanel. He just knows the strings. He knows the strings. Oh, damn, the down three goes all the way over. About even on life lead now. Nobody has rage. Big low parry. Is that it? I no, don't know. no, no, oh, no, no. No, he dropped. Boom, the blue stop. And, and it there it. it is, ladies and gentlemen. Dojin comes back out of nowhere. Dude. The reverse sweep after being down two rounds. It was looking a bit bleak. It was looking a bit peak. But he brought it back three rounds straight. You said it yourself, Sam. Danina looking very, very nice. He was thought really, really hard about it after that second oh. match. And it ended up working out for him. What a performance. For the young fella, man, to go against the, the, the OG, man, of Chanel. And just, uh, God, I need someone to just, like, throw some water down. Hey. Where's the water truck, dude? It's been, it's <laughs> this been, is getting hype, dude. It's been absolutely incredible, man. Philippine shoutouts, man, to all the guys watching from there. Your boy did it, man. Uh, yeah, Chanel absolutely. in the loser bracket. Now that's like an incredibly difficult oh, opponent dude. in the loser bracket. Oh, dude, I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it, man. <sighs> all right, so, you know what, ladies and lads, every match from now on are going to be top eight qualifiers. You definitely. Definitely don't want to miss it. We're going to get Sam's headset back on his head. We're going to go for a short break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.